Welcome back to the show. My next guest has six books to his name to date and has won numerous awards. I know he's proud of all of them, but he's probably most excited about what's happening with a couple of his novels. I'm joined by Michael Blouin, author. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank great, you, Derek. Great to have you here. Um, Michael, tell me a little bit about your background. As I said, six novels to your name uh, so far. When, when did you begin writing? When did that come oh, into your I, life? I think I officially began writing when I was probably 11. Okay. Decided that I'd write a novel. Thought this will be easy, and uh, <laughs> after the first page, realized it's not as easy as it looks. Right. And uh, but I'm still doing it. Uh, well, what um, what do you like to write about? What sort of in inspires you? It varies greatly. I find uh, you know you look at these things in retrospect, and I find that I tend to incorporate real people into my novels quite a bit. Uh, the last one is is Billy the Kid. And uh, the previous one, Skin House, has a good friend of mine in it uh, as a fictional character, and, and the others too. They've, they've always touched on, on the real world and in various ways. And yeah, and we're going to talk about two books in particular because there's some exciting news to share with our with our viewers. But let's talk uh, Skin House. Tell me the the storyline behind it. I started writing Skin House uh, years ago, um, just as kind of an experimental book of fiction, and it turned into a much more traditional novel. Uh, but it's a it's a comedy crime caper. Uh, so there's a few dark spots in it, as, as there are in life. But it, it's mostly uh, people find it mostly quite uh, amusing. It's kind of a Comedy crime caper thrill ride is how okay. I describe it. Okay. Um, I am Billy the Kid. Tell me about tell me about this particular novel. That book started off with just the title. I stepped into the shower one morning and that title popped into my head. I had no idea what it was, but I knew it was a book. And okay. I started writing it and the characters essentially told me what it was. It's a revisionist western with feminist overtones. It's a, a reframing of the whole western trope. Um, You've always had this uh, real interest in space travel, um, which we'll get to the story of, of, of what's happening with the books, but where, where did that interest come from? Um, I remember being, I guess, 10 years old and being uh, at the family cottage on the Big Rito Lake okay. uh, and watching the first moon landing and going out with my father and looking up into the night sky, looking up at the moon and, and thinking how wonderful it is that people could achieve such things. And I've been a space buff ever since. Uh, and so now, you know, you spend, writing novels is a, kind of a 24-hour day job. Right. You spend an awful lot of time doing it. Uh, and aside from my family and some friends, my writing is the most important thing in my life. So to, to have the experience of having my writing do what it's about to do uh, is a tremendous thing. I just, I'm, I'm awed by it. Well, let, let's talk about that. Uh, Skin House, I believe, will be the first book of yours to go into space. Uh, tell me how this this came about. So you mentioned awards at the outset, and awards are great. Uh, I'm very appreciative of having to uh, going through that experience. And, but awards mean readers, and that's the best thing about yeah. it. But this is on a whole other level. So a, a couple of years ago, our house burned down. I wasn't in the best frame of mind. I woke up one morning in my son's house because everything I owned on the planet had overnight disappeared. And so, and then I found out, uh, looked at my cell phone, found out that there had been an opportunity to apply to land on the moon with NASA as a book, in book form. Right. Um, and I had missed the deadline by 12 hours. And so I was like, oh, there's another nail in my coffin, yeah. so to speak. And later that day, Carolyn R. Parsons, who's a wonderful writer from Nova Scotia, contacted me and said, look, Mike, I, I, I'm in. I, I'm not stupid like you, I, I made the deadline. <laughs> Would you like to uh, climb aboard and essentially be a stowaway? Uh, so that's how that came about. And then uh, subsequent to that, my, my other book, Billy the Kid, came out. It was doing well, and I was contacted by the uh, director of the, of the program, Samuel uh, J. Peralta, and uh, he offered me uh, an, an actual full ride on the, uh, on the SpaceX NAS NASA co coordination that's happening next year. Okay. So is, how, how did that connection come about? Uh, that was with just SpaceX. A, with SpaceX. It's just it happens to be the next launch that Writers on the Moon, I which see. is this program, is, is involved with. Um, you know, when you when you look back to you know your beginning writing, would you ever imagine that you'd, you'd have two books going to space? Michael? Not at all. <laughs> no, I don't think the eleven year old would have uh, would have envisioned that. Although he pretended to go to the moon. Right. And in some ways, this is you know I, I'm I'm a little bit too old. I don't think I passed the physical for the astronaut program, but in some ways, this is. Even better, A, I don't have to do the anti-gravity training, right. which I hear is fairly horrendous. <laughs> Can imagine. And B, you know, my writing, as I say, is tremendously important for me. So it, for it to be represented on the surface of the moon is 
I think something that 11 year old boy would have really liked. Well, and, and you know, speaking of 11 year old boy and, and young people, that's something else you're passionate about. I mean, you love writing so much that you, you enjoy sharing that passion with, with young people. T tell me how you, you go about doing that. Uh, along with my publisher, Anvil Books, from Vancouver and, uh, and through the Relit Foundation, uh, I, I've mentored some, some young writers, which I really enjoy. I taught uh, writing at high school for years. And uh, I'm now doing some work with Carleton University in their creative writing program and, uh, and doing some guest uh, speaker uh, things for other lecturers and just giving advice to young writers because it's a very, uh, it's a very closed industry. Right. It's very tough from the outside. It's not like you know plumbing where you can see a, a clear path to where you want to go. Yeah. Um, it's very, very uh, opaque. And if you don't have somebody who's done it, who's willing to show you the ropes, it's it's very tough to. Yeah, break I think many of the arts are, are like that. And yeah. you know, I'm just talking to various artists, authors over the years. Uh, you know, you're, you're sharing the same same story I've heard many times. What advice? You know, we have about a minute left. What advice would you would you give to? What's your biggest piece of advice you give to a young writer? Biggest, probably three uh, three words. Don't give up. I actually, uh, in my 40s, because I had been hitting my head, I felt I was hitting my head against the wall for, for a, a long number of years. I, I gave up one day. I thought, you know what? It's time to stop. And within the hour, I got my first big publishing break in, really? in my mailbox. And I thought, oh, maybe it's not time to give up that. <laughs> so that's just you know, words of advice to anyone who's yeah. struggling. Glad to hear it. Uh, for people that would love to pick up a copy of any of your books, what's, what's the best way? I would say uh, anywhere you buy books. But uh, <laughs> anvilpress.com uh, uh, is probably the best place, the publisher. But uh, um, Perfect Books at Ottawa, okay. I know, has them. Yeah. Uh, chapters, order, chap order through chapters online or in the store, order there. Or uh, that place that uh, starts with an A, uh, Amazon. Amazon. Oh, yeah, I think, that place. I think, I think yeah, that yeah, place. I think, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm familiar with them. I uh, really appreciate the time today. Thanks Michael, very much, uh, congratulations on, on all your success. Thank uh, you. Pretty amazing stories, that's for I'm, sure. I'm going down to uh, the, the launch next month, and Excellent. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, we'll be back after this.